Oh, <laughs> this feels really weird just talking to my camera, but uh, here we go. Uh, I'm Shaylin of uh, Cute and Crusty Crafts. Yes, I picked that name and I'm sticking with it. <laughs> um, I am 26 years old and I have been knitting since I was probably like 10. Um, kind of been dabbling with some crochet too lately. Um, but yeah, I don't have a ton of friends who knit and crochet and I thought I'd start my own podcast where I just talk about knitting. Hopefully it's interesting. Um, and for the first episode, I guess this is an episode of the podcast, uh, I thought I'd just kind of go through my me-made wardrobe. Um, these are just some of the things that I wear more regularly. I probably knit a lot more things than this, but these are just things that I actually like and wear and didn't end up ripping out and turning into something else. So yeah, um, let's get started. Um, I think I'm probably going to start with sweaters, because who doesn't love a sweater? So uh, first one is actually the one that I am wearing. Um, this is the Tri-Cable Cardigan by Susan Crawford Vintage. Um, and I did it in the We Are Knitters Finita yarn in beige. Uh, I just finished this like a couple days ago and I'm already like so obsessed with it. It's probably my favorite sweater I've ever made. Um, and it fits, I think it's just because it fits so good. Um, it's still missing buttons. Uh, those are coming in the mail and then I'm going to tack those on there, but I kind of like the whole like bow with it, with it slightly open. I think it's really cute. Um, it is cables and I think I knit it in the fourth size. Um, my gauge was a lot tighter than what was recommended. So I did it like quite a few sizes up and I'm really glad I did because it fits really good. But yeah, I don't know how I'm going to show because I'm sitting on my bed, but yeah, I really love, I love it. I can't, I can't say enough good things about it. Um, I may have to try to knit some more Susan Crawford vintage patterns because it was really, really easy to follow. But uh, yeah, I've had a lot of time on my hands because I, I can't work because of COVID. Um, I'm an esthetician and... We have had three lockdowns in Ontario since the beginning of all of this. Um, so yeah, I haven't really been working a lot the past two years. Oh, two years, that's, that's bonkers. So yeah, I have been crafting a lot, as you can see. So um, a lot of these things are kind of older things, but quite a few of them are relatively new, which is kind of fun. But yeah. So next sweater. Uh, yeah, so the next sweater is the Oversized Turtleneck by Bruce Weinstein um, from the Boyfriend Sweaters book. I love, 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 love that book. I bought it when I was probably like 16, had it for like 10 years, and I've knit probably like six or eight of the patterns and I've had a lot of success with all of them. Um, so this one, it looks kind of shapely because I pulled it out of my uh, uh, my storage because it's definitely not sweater weather, as I said. But yeah, so this is an oversized sweater. Um, it's knit with the uh, Mary Wool from We Are Knitters um, and it is the softest sweater ever. It's in the color Spotted Mauve. Um, I like knitting this sweater, but I don't know if I enjoy a lot of like super roving yarns. Um, I like to have yarns with a little bit more structure because when I was sewing this together, um, I find the yarn really starts to like fluff up and get hard to work with and then eventually I end up ripping it. Um, it's not that I'm against it, I just would prefer a yarn with a little bit more structure. Um, but yeah, it's so cozy. I was like living in this when I finished it uh, in quarantine as well. <laughs> I think I finished it last year. And yeah, it is a warm, 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 warm sweater. So 
I think I, did I make any changes to the pattern? I don't think I did. Don't quote me on that. I don't follow patterns well. <laughs> but yeah, so that is that. And then my next one is, actually I think the next two are probably going to be from the boyfriend sweater pattern or book as well. Um, so this is the Honeycomb Pullover, also by Bruce Weinstein. Um, and I think I just knit this in like some acrylic yarn. I knit this quite a few years ago um, before I kind of got into nicer yarns. I would always just end up going to Michael's and getting like the cheapest stuff because I was young and poor. <laughs> but yeah, so this is a pullover sweater, the honeycomb sweater. I love the pattern. I think it's so pretty, um, but it fits kind of weird. Uh, I don't think the armholes are big enough and I think I again I just picked a random yarn and I don't think it was the right weight don't know if I used the right needles either back then I just didn't pay attention to like gauge or or weight or any of that and I just knit and like most of my stuff just didn't fit and I was like oh that sucks <laughs> and didn't change my ways until recently but yeah so I have been thinking I like it and I wear it but I've been thinking maybe I want to rip it out and, or maybe just knit another one of the honeycomb sweaters and some better yarn and actually follow gauge and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I think that's all I have to say about the sweater. And then next one, again, from the Boyfriend Sweaters book by Bruce Weinstein. This is the uh, Textured Argyle Cardigan. I really like how this one turned out. Um, you can't really, or can you tell, you can tell better in, on camera. There is like a very, very, uh, mild, not as noticeable argyle pattern knit into it. Um, this one fits really well. Um, I think I ended up using the right weight that the pattern recommended, but again, it's probably an acrylic yarn because I knit this quite a few years ago. Um, but yeah, I love, I love this one. It's really, really soft. Um, I get all the compliments when I wear it, which is really fun. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I have anything else to say about this. Um, I didn't really block it. I kind of wish I had blocked it because uh, some of the ribbing, uh, the edges looks a little weird, but you know, you live, you learn. <laughs> Next one, I think this is my last sweater that I wear um, or haven't ripped out. <laughs> and this one is, what is this one? The Fluffy Feather Sweater by Veronica Lindberg. Lind Lindberg. Lindberg. Um, I think she has a YouTube channel. Um, I didn't know that before I bought the pattern. Um, but this one is quite fun. I usually don't do a lot of like color work. Um, I just. I did it in the past and like things just got really tangled and but this one was fine because it was just the two colors. Um, I knit this when I got back from Iceland. Um, I was really inspired by the Lopi sweaters. Um, I didn't buy a lot of yarn there because a lot of the yarn is very like very rough and I have a lot of like skin sensitivities so I didn't think it was gonna work for me. Um, so I think I used a burnet yarn, again, acrylic. Um, it definitely was not what was recommended in the pattern. Um, I think they recommended like a fingering weight yarn and then uh, held with a strand of mohair. Um, that sweater looked a lot more dense. Um, this one's a lot looser, um, which I kind of like but I knit it kind of longer than I had anticipated. I think just this yarn stretches a lot. So the sleeves are really long and the body's really long. I uh, didn't anticipate that when I was doing it, but I think maybe I might cut it and shorten it. I've never actually like taken scissors to any of my knitting projects before. So I'm kind of nervous about it, but so I'm kind of, Maybe I should do it? I don't know. I'm nervous. I'm very nervous. Because <laughs> I really do like it. And I just don't I just don't want to mess it up. 
That's always the worst when you just absolutely bungle something. But yeah, um, Burnett yarn, and I really do like the um, the feather pattern. I think it's really pretty. Yeah. Alrighty, so next I think we'll do my summer knits. Um, I've never really done summer knits until this year. Um, sorry, not just knits, most of it's crochet actually. Um, but yeah, uh, I really just have had so much time on my hands not working. So I decided to get into some more summer knits. I do really like how, they, how summer knits look. I just never really dabbled in it before. Uh, so yeah, I got, I don't have too many things. Um, a lot of them are relatively new, um, but I did this one this year. <laughs> it's kind of like a bandana top. And it is, where is the Pura Vida Halter uh, by Amanda Love Santos on YouTube. Uh, I just found the pattern. Um, I had bought a bunch of cotton yarn and just kind of wanted to make a few things. So yeah, this top is really cute. I really like it. It's crochet. Um, the pattern was really easy to follow. I really like watching... Um, YouTube videos, I find I'm much more of like a, I, I find I learn a lot better when I'm watching someone else do it. So yeah, I can, I like the colors on this. Uh, it's very pastel, um, which isn't always like my vibe. I wear a lot more like darker colors, but I'm trying to branch out because summer gets hot and wearing dark colors in the summer, it's very hot. Yes, in Canada, the summers are very hot. I'm from Southern Ontario and it, summers get so hot and humid here. I'm also very pale as you can tell so I don't really handle the heat very well so wearing as little clothes as possible during the summer seems to work well for me. <laughs> but yeah um, I think did I make any changes to this pattern? I oh yeah um, the straps I think in her pattern she just braided the straps um, and I didn't really want to do that. I wanted something a little bit thicker. So I just did, um, chain and then single crochet on all the sides. Um, I find some of the, with the color working, I, I hate, hate weaving in ends. And I think that's why I don't do color work very much is because you have to weave in so many ends. Um, but I, I pushed myself and I did this one and yeah a lot of the ends are popping out which is really annoying I find with cotton yarns the ends don't stay tucked away as nicely as they do with even like acrylic but but uh, like natural like animal fibers um, so if you have any tips for weaving in cotton ends I would love that very much <laughs> yeah um, next one is the boho top by hooked uh, by hooked on handmade happiness blah, 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 blah. and I love how this top turned out I think it is so beautiful um, I saw this pattern and I was like shit I need this um, so this, oh, I didn't mention what um, the last top is made from. It is the um, Karen Cotton Ripple Cakes. I bought a bunch of them in a bunch of different colors. I think this is, I think this top has all the colors that I bought. Um, but yeah, so this one, I there's no point in really naming the colors, honestly, because I'm pretty sure that yarn is discontinued which is really kind of annoying um because I was trying to finish some projects that I need a little bit more yarn with and I couldn't find it anywhere <laughs> so that was kind of annoying but um this is also made out of the uh Karen cotton ripple cakes um and this top is made with granny squares and then attached together um I just I just love this top I just really really love this top 
Um, I've just kind of been hanging out in my bathing suit a couple days that have been really, really warm, and I'll just throw this on over top, and I just think it's so cute. It's so cute. Um, I don't think I... I did change the back, because I think the back in that pattern, she added a button closure, and I didn't really have any buttons on me at that time, so I just added some, like, long tail straps, and then I can just tie it in the back which uh, works really well. I quite like it. But yeah, I think it's so, I, it, I love crocheting granny squares these days. Um, I'm relatively new to crochet, but just the intricacy of some of the patterns you can do are just so cool. And crochet stuff in fashion has just been so popular this year. Um, I feel like it's very trendy. Not that I really care about that. <laughs> But yeah, so there's that, and then this is kind of a scrappy project. Uh, again, it was made with the uh, Karen Cotton Ripple Cakes, and I was kind of running out of like all of my colors. So I started making this top, and I thought I would have enough to do the full top. Um, the pattern is the Eden Top by, uh, hey, it's Carrie. I think it's on YouTube. It's another YouTube tutorial. Um, she has a lovely, um, I think she's Irish, Irish accent, and it's so calming to listen to. I love her, her patterns and her voice. Um, but yeah, so this is the Eden top. Um, I really like this top. I really, it's very, very comfortable and it kind of covers everything. <laughs> but, um, I did make some alterations to the pattern again, because I was running out of yarn. So the back or the front and the back are supposed to be the same but I didn't have enough of the purple yarn to do the full back part so I just kind of cut it off made it sort of a lower back and then added the straps um, which I thought would be fine and then when I finished I put it on and the uh, top area was kind of gapey so I just took it over to my mom's house and then I just added some Darts with the sewing machine on um, just around the chest area and that fits really really well and it's really cute um, the straps are striped <laughs> I kind of wish I had didn't hadn't had to do that but again I was running out of the yarn and I kind of wanted to make it cohesive because again there's like three different colors in this so there's the there's the base then there's the main color and then there's the the top ribbing so I kind of was like, maybe I should just tie all those colors together in the straps. And I think it I think it looks really cute. It doesn't look like I was like, oh fuck, I'm running out of yarn. I think it looks more planned, which is nice. But yeah, I'm excited to wear this top uh, this summer. I think it's gonna be really cute. And then my last summer knit crochet projects is actually a knit, the only summer knit. Oh, the some of the bit hang some of the ends are hanging out <laughs> but yeah um this was my first attempt at summer knitting projects and this is oh what is it called it's the seasons change top by the knit stitch um and i knitted it in um in we are knitters pima cotton and olive i think i love this top it's so beautiful the front is very basic uh, and then the back has um, the leaf stitch on it, which is so pretty. Um, I kind of want to make another one of these, but do like the leaf stitch on the front. I think it's going to be really pretty. Uh, I just don't want to buy another pattern. I'm unemployed technically, so I should need to be a little bit more <laughs> thrifty with my money. <laughs> So, but I really, I really love how this top turned out. Um, when I first made it, the straps were kind of long, so it was a little bit more booby than I had wanted. Um, so this year, I shortened the straps a little bit, and I think it's going to work a lot better. Um, I also didn't block it. This is also was back in the days when I just didn't care about gauge or weight or blocking or any of that shit 
which apparently makes a big difference as I'm learning now that I'm making things that I actually enjoy and actually fit me. <laughs> but yeah, I really love this pattern and I've had my eye on a lot more of the knit stitches patterns because I just think they're so beautiful. Um, I'd love to do the leaf stitch, stitch version of the sweater cut for maybe like a summer one in a cotton. I think that would be really, really beautiful because I don't have a lot of like summery sweaters. I have a lot of thick, chunky sweaters that I had to put away for the season. But yeah, so that is all my summer knits. All right, and last category is going to be accessories. Um, it's kind of a mix of summer and winter. I thought I'd just kind of put them all together in a pile next to me. I didn't really think this did very well. I just kind of threw my stuff on the bed and I was like, oh, I should do the categories. <laughs> but yeah, so I have this cowl. Um, again, I don't really know what the yarn is because I knit this probably for 10 years ago. It's held up really well, actually. I, I wear it a lot, um, but I also didn't really make a, I didn't follow a pattern. I just kind of knit seed stitch. Um, but yeah, I wear this all the time. Um, I really like the circumference of it because um, it's a lot closer to my neck. Um, so it can really keep my neck warm on those really, really cold, windy Canadian days. Um, yeah, probably an acrylic. Again, didn't really care at that point. And there's like a big old seam in the back that I really hate. <laughs> I really hate it. I wish I'd knit it in the round, but I didn't really know how to do that at the time. And then there's just a little, little end sticking out where I just cut it real short and was like, fuck it. Um, but I still wear it, so clearly I don't really care that much. Uh, next one is another cowl, and this one is an interlock cowl. Um, this was, I think it was an acrylic yarn as well. I, I just get like, I used to get like all my yarns just from Michaels. Because <laughs> it was just easy, and you could use that sweet coupon, uh, that 40% off coupon for one of, your, uh, one of your purchases, which I always, always, always used. <laughs> But yeah, I don't remember if I used a pattern for this or if I just made it up. I really love interlock pattern. I think it's so beautiful. People always are like, what the hell the fuck did you knit that? I'm like, you don't actually care. <laughs> but yeah, I wear this one a lot in winter as well. I love the, the berry color, like dark purples are my favorite colors and it's so squishy and lovely. Um, Again, I made this one a little bit too large, so it doesn't, it's not really as, it's warm, but it isn't as close to my neck, and it's not really big enough that I could wrap it around twice. Um, it's kind of more of just like a style piece, but I love it, and I get a lot of compliments on it, which is always fun. Yeah, um, and that was knit years and years and years ago. Um, but yeah, next one, I have this beret. Uh, this is the number, the hat, wait, is it beret number one? Yeah, beret number one um, by My Favorite Things Knitwear. Um, I love them. Their patterns are so beautiful, like so simple, but just it's exactly what I want. I want to buy all of their patterns. Um, and I think this was just a Bernat acrylic yarn. I was trying to just use some yarn for my stash because I have a lot of it. Um, but yeah, I really like how this turned out. Um, I used a worsted weight yarn instead of holding two, uh, holding together two strands of fingering weight yarn. Um, I did feel like it would have been a little bit more dense, um, but this holds its shape really well. Um, but yeah, I really like how this turned out. Um, I think the little nub is so cute. Like, I you see them on on like storming berets all the time, and when I saw this, I was like, you can knit a little nub. I, my mind was blown. <laughs> um, and then I think I posted this on my Instagram, and one of my best friends uh, commissioned me to make one for her, which I still haven't given to her. It's June. Um, we are terrible about 
remembering to give each other stuff. Um, but yeah, I did it in a black that has a some like rainbow little bits in it. That's also another acrylic yarn that I'm trying to use up my from my stash. Um, so I still need to give that to her. That's uh, that's me remembering that I need to do that. <laughs> but yeah, I really like this marled black and white. I think it's kind of makes it a little fun. It's neutral. I love I love the neutral colors or the dark colors. Uh, and I think I'll wear this a lot next winter because I kind of finish this in like February, March, and I was getting a little bit warmer, so I didn't get a ton of wear out of it this season, but I'm hoping to get more wear out of it the following winter. All right, so next one, this one is batshit crazy. <laughs> so um, again, this is another one where I didn't really use a pattern, but I saw this yarn at Michael's. I think it's a loops and threads yarn. And the the chunky yarn is like so popular these days. So, so, so popular. And I was like, I want to give it a go. And it looks so cool. Um, yeah, again, I didn't follow a pattern. I just kind of knitted. Um, I must have, did I sew it together? Oh yeah, I sewed it together. Yeah, you can see the seam in the back. Um, on like 15 millimeter needle, needles, it felt insane. I've never knit anything that chunky before. <laughs> but yeah, um, I wish I had put like a garter stitch on the bottom because it does kind of roll up a little bit, which is kind of annoying. Uh, and there are a couple seams that like keep falling out. Uh, but I get a lot, a lot of compliments on it. Again, people love the chunky yarn. The look of it, they're like, um, I like knitting with it, but I found these days I've been enjoying knitting with more like fingering weight yarn. Um, I just like the drape of it. I find that chunkier things just get like so heavy. You're like holding up a sweater and it's like exercising your arms. <laughs> um, I haven't worn this in a while. I should probably wear it some more. Well, obviously not now because it's June, but yeah. And then next I have Beanie. Um, I think I follow, I cannot remember what pattern I followed. It was probably just something that I found on the internet. One of those free patterns. Um, but yeah, uh, again, kind of an acrylic wool blend, um, chunkier yarn. Um, I really like the color of this. I'm usually not really a pink person. Well, I'm physically, like my skin is pink. <laughs> So I try not to wear like a lot of pink and red, but I don't know. This color spoke to me at the moment and I knit it up. I like the cables. I think it's really cute. Um, I knit this before I went to Iceland. So I wore this in Iceland and it was really cute. I think at the time I was wearing it kind of like slouchy style. Um, but last year I started kind of wearing it like folded up and I think it's, Kind of cute that way <laughs> with the big old pom-pom i think this is probably one of the best pom-poms i'd ever made at the time um now it's kind of slightly misshapen but we try our best you know <laughs> and if i'm wearing it it's not like it really bothers me that much like i'll wear things that are like less than perfect but if i'm knitting for other people i'm like it has to be so yeah, and then I have another beanie. I'm pretty sure I didn't follow a pattern for this one either. Um, another acrylic yarn. I think I held two strands of just acrylic yarn together to get a really chunky effect. Um, there's cables in it. Uh, you can't really tell that well just because of the marledness of the two different yarns held together. Um, and then I, I think it was knit in a flat piece and then seamed up because I think I saw the seam back a little bit. Yeah. But yeah, this one's pretty simple, but again, I really, really like it. It's got like a little bent in it and yeah, oh, this makes me want to, <laughs> I know I'm crazy, but like I love cold weather. 
I thrive a lot better in cold weather. So putting on all these hats and stuff, I'm like, I want to put on a cozy sweater, make myself a cup of tea, and just hang out. But instead, it's, well, it's not that warm today. It's been a little bit cooler, which I appreciate, but we are in for some hot, hot, hot weather, which I'm not looking forward to. <laughs> but yeah, off on a tangent. Um, so next I have this interlock scarf. Um, this one was kind of another stashy project. Um, actually I made a, another sweater from the boyfriend sweaters pattern. It was one of the cardigans, uh, out of this yarn. And then I had a bunch left over. Um, I think I gave that sweater to my mom, I believe. Um, so I started knitting this, realized I didn't have enough yarn to like complete a decent sized scarf. And then I just added a random different yarn on the bottom and then put tassels on it. I don't know about that choice, but again, I really, I just really like the interlock pattern. I think it's so beautiful. Um, I don't get as much wear out of this as I should, but here's some clean stitches. <laughs> Do you ever just look at one of your knits and you're like, damn, I can knit pretty good. <laughs> and I feel that way about this scarf. All right, what is next? Um, oh yes, some of my favorite knitting combo. That's not what I meant to say. My favorite like winter hat and scarf combo is what I meant to say. Um, I knit this last year um, and this is just like a basic beanie. Um, do I say what? Oh yeah, so this was the Boyfriend Hat Pattern by Pearl Soho. Uh, it's free pattern. Um, and I kind of changed things up because I knit it double. I kind of decided to do that a little bit late. So I had already knit like a lot of this hat. And then, um, decided I wanted it to be double so I just picked up stitches on the bottom and then like knit the hat again I kind of wish I knit it like one solid piece because we have like a bit of a seam um but it's not noticeable when you fold I'm I always wear it with the brim folded up so it's not really noticeable but uh I knit this in a round and it's knit with um we are knitters finito yarn as well i'm again i'm obsessed with that yarn i really like that yarn it's just very cozy um but yeah so i knit this hat um it's a, it's a little bit tight it kind of will leave some of the the ribbing pattern on my forehead when i take it off but i think it's just really cute and i don't i don't really care that much um and i love this color i love this color so much I, I'm a beanie, I'm so beanie obsessed. I own like a stupid amount of all like the manufactured ones um, in different colors. And I was like, why the hell don't I just knit one? And it turned out so good. I think I wanna try a few different kind of beanie patterns to get more of like the, the flat square effect. Um, Cause this one's a little bit more rounded, but I am absolutely happy with how this turned out. And then I knit, not a, it's, not really matching because the patterns are different, but it's the same yarn and the same color. And I knit this shawl scarf sort of situation. Uh, it's a little bit wrinkled because it's been in the, it's been folded up in our trunk. Um, but this is the Tender Shawl by Melanie Hoffman. I, I love everything that she makes. I think her patterns are so, so beautiful. Um, I love watching her YouTube videos. They're so soothing to just kind of knit along to. Um, but yeah, so I knit this again with the uh, the We Are Knitters Finita yarn in, I think it's in cinnamon. And it's just, ugh, it's just so pretty. It's just so nice. Um, I knit it in a thinner weight yarn than was recommended, um, but the pattern just repeats itself so I just repeated the pattern a few more times to get a little bit more length out of it because it would have been a little bit shorter. Oh, I hate how wrinkly this is right now but obviously I can't iron it. But yeah it's got this kind of wavy pattern to it and it's just so beautiful and I love 
wearing this like this sometimes I just need to tie it tucking it kind of falls but oh, this is oh, I just want it to be winter again <laughs> or at least fall at least fall but yeah but it's been my go-to these two have been my go-to knitted hat and scarf combo when it was cold outside yeah let's take the hat off I probably really messed up my hair let's take a second to adjust okay <laughs> and then uh, we only have like three more pieces left um, I have two bucket hats that I crocheted this year um, I have another one that is we are knitters in the same color as uh, my hat I it might be a little slightly different but this one is in the cotton uh, the Pima cotton I think this is in like deep red or something like that um, but I really like how this pattern turned out. I kind of modified, um, I kind of spliced together a couple patterns because I wasn't really happy with, well, I, I'm not unhappy with it, but I made an, this one, um, which is, has more of like a flared brim to it. Um, this pattern was by Lala Perez on, uh, on YouTube. I really do like her patterns too. And her voice is very, very soothing to listen to. Um, so I do like this hat, but I just think it's a little bit more like ruffled, but rufflier on the brim than I had wanted. Um, so I think I used for this one, I used Lala Perez's pattern for the, the crown of the hat. And then I can't remember what I, what pattern I used for the brim. Um, but yeah, I'm so much happier with And then sometimes I'll wear it folded up. Oh, you can see the, can see the, that, but that's okay. And then I feel like a little kid at the beach and I don't hate it. <laughs> but yeah, oh, this hat was also made out of the um, Caron Ripple, Cotton Ripple Cake. Um, so my shirt and my hat kind of match, which is a little bit fun if you wanna have like a beachy look. I make so much stuff being like, for when I go to the beach and I never go to the beach <laughs> but it's there in case that happens one day my last piece that I made there we go is these pair of socks um these are the Miss Lemon socks by Heidi Alexander uh, I can't remember what they are this again um it's I think it's cotton it's probably like a cotton acrylic blend is what it is um, but I really like the pattern on this too, kind of like a lacy detail and the, how am I going to do this? I think it's sock stretchers or something, but yeah, the top of this sock, the pattern goes kind of triangular, which I think is really cute. Um, so when you wear the, and then the opposite foot is the other way. So when you kind of have a point, then you pull, hold your toes together, which is really cute. Um, I knit another pair of these in this same yarn with the, the Seasons Change yarn, um, the Pima Cotton from We Are Knitters in Olive. Um, they recommended I buy like four balls of the yarn and I only really used two, so I had like two balls left and I was kind of annoyed about that. But um, I made some socks in the same pattern as these. And they were the first ones that I made of this pattern and I don't know what it was but I just struggled so hard I just kept fucking everything up and I just kept having to rip it back and rip it back and I got so annoyed with it that when I was finished with them I was like I need to get rid of these because the sight of them makes me angry so I gave them to my mom for Christmas or Mother's Day, I don't know, some, I gave, I gave them to her as a gift and she loves them. Um, she's super happy with, but yeah, I really like these socks. Um, they're, again, they're like a cotton acrylic blend, so you can put them in the washing machine. Um, and then I just kind of let them air dry. Um, I find they do kind of stretch out as you wear them. So I kind of wear them more as like slipper socks than I do as normal socks or I'll wear like double 
socks. I'll wear another pair of socks underneath these um, in the winter just to keep my feet really warm. My toes are just always cold, always cold. So sometimes I'll wear like two or three pairs of socks. Um, but yeah, I think that's everything for my me made wardrobe. Wow. I'm surrounded by all these things that I made. It's kind of cool that I have this power with my hands. Um, now, I thought I'd just continue. Oh, all my stuff's falling over. Um, and I thought I would just show you my current whips or work in progress uh, pieces. So, I am working on this sweater. Oh, things are a little bit tangled. My two pieces are tangled together. Um, yeah, I'm working on this sweater that is by uh, Jessie May or like Jessie Made Designs. Um, and it's turning out so cute. It's again the Finita yarn. <laughs> this time it's a natural. Um, and then I'm also, I also held together um, the Fuzzy yarn, also by We Are Knitters. Um, I meant to get mohair. I somehow got the fuzzy and I didn't want to return it because I just was kind of embarrassed, but it's turning out really, really nice. So it's kind of a boat neck sweater and it's got this, uh, this intarsia section. I don't know if I'm pronouncing intarsia right. I could be wrong. Um, so it's kind of sheer here. So it's more like, it's kind of like a v-neck without really being a v-neck. Um, and it's so cute and it's so soft and fuzzy and I am working on the sleeves. Um, the sleeves are just gonna be um, the same length all the way down, kind of more of like a flared silhouette. And I think it's gonna be so cute. It's also cropped. You can see all my little hanging threads and stuff. Um, I've been really liking knitting this. I changed, I just did the twisted rib for um, the bottom and for the collar. I just really like how it looks. I think it looks a lot more structured and nice than normal ribbing um it does usually take me a little bit longer but i never really regret it because i just think it looks so nice um and i don't do a lot of intarsia knitting you can't can you see oh yeah you can see um you can probably see my hand or not really that's okay um but i don't really knit a lot of intarsia um I found it very confusing. I like bought a book on it a long time ago and like still didn't understand it, but this one was super, super easy to do because you knit with the two yarns together and then you drop the one yarn, knit with the fuzzy yarn and then attach another ball and then just pick up the other finita yarn and knit. Um, so you don't have any like twisting you have to do on the edge or like weird I find that the edges of my intarsia would always be like really loose um and that wasn't a problem with this obviously because you're kind of keeping one of the yarns consistent throughout the whole thing um but I've been really liking it um we've had a few colder days so I've been knitting it a little bit more the more warm it gets the less I'm probably going to be knitting it because I don't have central air conditioning in my apartment so having like a knit sweater on you while you're knitting it, it's just like you're like I'm dying I'm literally dying um but hopefully I can finish it before things get too hot that would be wonderful uh yeah I think that's all I really have to say about this I just love the color everything I've been knitting recently has been in like neutral colors and I don't know what that says about me but I don't hate it but yeah um, and then the next project I'm working on is again with Finita yarn. Um, I had a few leftover balls from this sweater. Um, I think this sweater took three balls of yarn. Um, but yeah, so I am knitting a few little extra things with that. I bought the um, scarf number one pattern by my favorite knitwear or my favorite things knitwear um so i'm knitting that and it's looking really really cute i really like the color so i'm knitting the bandana version of it so because i think it'll be cute to wear this this uh 
sweater and just have like a little bandana tied in my hair. Um, I'll probably have some yarn left over after that. Um, and I think I want to knit a one, another one of the um, uh, beret number ones as well. I think that would be so nice in this yarn. Again, this like combo together, I think just would be so cute. Ah, uh, there's cat hair all over this. I just keep like picking them out. <laughs> but yeah, I really, I really like struggled with this in the beginning. I don't know why. Um, I actually, I did kind of switch something in this pattern because it says for the increases to knit or purl through the back loop and then knit normally for the eyelets. But I found the opposite was working in my knitting where if I knit through the back loop, it was leaving really big gap, really big gap. So like eyelets. And then when I was knitting normally, it was closing everything up. I don't know what was going on with that. So I kind of switched things around. Um, I even tried like knitting double yarn with this, um, but then I stopped that and I figured out what was going wrong and I kind of fixed it. So yeah, I'm excited to see how this turns out, excited to block it, and I don't know if I'll be able to wear it in the summer because it is 70% um, merino and 30% alpaca, I believe. So it might be a little bit warm to wear as a bandana in the summer, but I might give it a go. You never know. <laughs> so yeah, those are my whips. I don't have a lot of stuff going on right now. Um, I have a lot of patterns in the, in the uh, I have a lot of patterns on the notes in my phone that I want to do, but again, I'm unemployed and I need to be a little bit more frugal with my spending even though I just spent like a hundred dollars on yarn which was so stupid um, but I have plans for all of those things um, so I've got some time maybe I don't know I'm gonna edit this and we'll see if this stays in but I thought I would just do a little knit along and just talk about my life I don't know I haven't seen a lot of people in a while because we are in third lockdown in Ontario so I've been trying to stay distant from my friends um, so I haven't been talking to a lot of people so let's just talk to my phone or YouTube or no one <laughs> so yeah I'm just gonna just be knitting um, in magic loop on my sleeves so yeah is anyone else going crazy in lockdown? I feel like I'm the only one whose job is still affected by lockdown. I feel like pretty much everyone is back to their normal lives. Um, Ontario has been quite behind in its COVID plan. We are in, we have different like phases now for the lockdown. So we're in phase one as of June 11th. Um, so non-essential retail can open for like limited numbers of people in the building and now we can do outdoor patio eating um, for restaurants which is great for them I feel like restaurants and personal beauty and tattoo have just been shot on through this whole thing which I, I get because we're interacting with people a little bit closer but it's still very frustrating um, but yeah so personal health is going to start up again in phase two which is probably gonna be early July I'm really excited to get back to work I have <laughs> I did the math and I worked like less than 20 days this whole year which has been bonkers to say because we're in like the sixth month of the year where did 2021 go I don't know I spent the whole time sitting on my couch hanging with my cat <laughs> um but yeah I had just switched jobs previously to the closure so I worked at my new spa for a month and then we closed down again <laughs> but it is what it is I'm trying to be 
you know, positive about it, because if not, you just get sad, especially when you don't have a job to get up and go to every day. <laughs> but yeah, it's given me so much time to knit. This is, I've just been like powering through projects. It's, I've never knit at such a speed in my life. Um, I uh, usually was a one project at a time kind of person, but I've kind of switched up so that I, when I get bored of one project, I'll switch to another. And I think it's part of the reason why I've been producing so much is just because I've just been making stuff all the time, which has been really cool. Um, what else? I have a cat. <laughs> it's relatively new. Um, she just trotted on up to my works door one day. I guess her owners abandoned her and I took her in and because uh, my boss had just taken in another cat and she said her husband would kill her if she got a new cat. Um, but yeah, she's a sweetheart. I've never had a pet before so this has been very interesting growth for me getting used to taking care of an animal. I think it's been really good for me this quarantine because she actually like gets me up in the morning by screaming for food. She is she is very sweet. Her name's Minnie. Her, well, her actual name is Minerva, but I only really call her that when she's bad. Honestly, I call her Stinky more than I call her Minnie or Minerva. <laughs> but she's a, she's not even she's not that stinky. But I don't know why I call her Stinky all the time. Um, but she's so sweet and uh, she's fun to play with. She's fun to have around. She doesn't really love being picked up very much, which I still kind of pick her up frequently because she's got to get used to it. I just want to love on her. I just want to love on her all the time. But yeah, she's very needy. She has to kind of be around me all the time. Actually, she's not in the room right now. I think she's sleeping. Um, she's taken to sleeping on my roommate's desk chair a lot. <laughs> which is gonna be an issue when my roommate goes back to school starting in September. But yeah, we will deal with that hurdle when it happens. Yeah, um, what else has been going on? Nothing really. I did plan a camping trip with my two best friends, which I think is gonna be really fun. I bought a camping set at in September last year used for really really cheap um, and I haven't gotten to use it yet so I'm really excited to break it in I never used to be much into camping but uh, I've been more into the outdoors lately um, so I'm gonna start camping a little bit and I think it'll be really fun it'll be fun for us to get together and see each other and hang out because again I haven't seen most of my friends in months. We did have one day where um, two of my other best friends came over and uh, we hung out in the in our garden, had some drinks and it was so lovely. It was so lovely to see people. I'm quite introverted by nature but I still need, you still need friends every once in a while. So yeah, I'm trying to think of anything else that's going on. My life has been just like so mundane lately. Just been getting up late and just fucking around, doing a lot of knitting and not much else. Been trying to do some cooking since I'm just, I'm, I, I'm terrible. I'm not a bad cook, I just, I just don't want to do it you know some people love doing it my brother loves cooking and it's just not it's just not a fun pastime for me and I don't like doing dishes very much it's fine but it just we don't have a dishwasher so they're all done by hand is there anything else I can talk about not really maybe I'll just end it right here well thanks for watching if you watched maybe no one's watching <laughs> But that's fine. This has been kind of a fun outlet to just talk about my knitting. Because again, I don't have like a ton of friends who, who knit. So it's nice to talk to 
my phone if no one. <laughs> but yeah. Um, again, thank you for watching if you did watch. If you made it through this whole thing, congratulations. If you want to comment, you know, a ball of yarn, one of those emojis, because I know that's a thing. And uh, yeah, if you like what you see, subscribe, click that bell. Uh, <laughs> that feels nuts. It feels crazy. But yeah. All right. Well, that's me signing off. Bye.